They called me and said there's some bad news. Instead of a 124, it now becomes a 128. It's just different. Can you have a grill too, Freddy? It never gets cheaper than right now. That one's broke off in there. I got to. We are heading to Franklin, Tennessee, which is just below Nashville to a place called Moonshine Harley-Davidson to get a bike build, which will include an entire new brake system, suspension, and supposedly a 124 motor with a 492 cam and a D&D exhaust. Leave me a comment to your best guess what the horsepower and torque will be at the end product, which will be on the next video. After you watch the video, because there are going to be some changes shown in the video to the bike build. show up the night before my build is on schedule, check the bike in a day early and we head to the motel. The next morning I get a call that there's a problem. 
We're heading into the Harley dealer, the Moonshine Harley Davidson. They right. called me and said there's some bad news. Our first look. So they said uh, the flywheel's sticking. They're gonna have to replace that and the bearings. It's gonna be more money. The only good news that comes out of that, instead of a 124, it now becomes a 128. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the hell, right? I mean, if you didn't get some bad news. Might as well get some good news. Exactly. Yeah, so we'll walk in here and see what's up with that. So look at this, look at the parking lot, dude. Oh, I know, man, now. Look at all the Somebody burnouts, been having man. some damn fun. Yeah. They just had their uh, anniversary party not long ago, like two weeks ago. Yeah. I'm in control. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, you Where know. Are you from? Uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, nice. Welcome to Moonshine. Thank you. Looking for anything to you? He's getting a new motor. Oh, yay. H50s. <laughs> we know we can get some H50s right now. Free hat, huh? Oh. At least a free hat. I mean, at a minimum, we should get a free T-shirt. Two. You need, you need. You need two. Utah, give me two. <laughs> we'll show the people the bike. There he is. How much, man? Give me two seconds. I'm gonna get him dialed in. Sure, no problem. Behringer brakes, that's what we getting right there. Behringer brakes with the 320 rotors. Oh, You're right, I can't see you down my glasses. <laughs> I'm starting to look around. I'm like, oh. <laughs> we getting some of those too. Yeah, common issue with the four and three stroke on the 17s was the bushing on the pin side of the flywheel. You can see the rifle falling down right here. We're stuck up right here. Wow. Uh -huh. Good catch by Marcus because it's slowly to go out. We have a bike that road glide right there. The I'll show you on the flywheel. The same piece failed in that one, yeah. caused the rod itself to shift over and wore out the entire oiling system on the bike and wore out the entire pin on the side of the flywheel as well. But yeah, you can see clearly how much they're sticking on there. All right, well, I mean, we don't have a choice, really. I guess we gotta go, go forward. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, Carrillo rods, all new bearings. We're gonna split the case and drop all that off on there, primary kit. So, Blue, what do you think? It is what it is. Like I said, I was expecting something to be a miss and there it is. Yeah. So if that's it, I still chalk it up to a win. You get more horsepower. Oh yeah. And more torque. And more torque. Oh uh, yeah. That's a typical piston we get out of a motor. Mm -hmm. Very typical. That's your piston. It's a lot more carbon. Yeah, I mean, it got built, so I'm not sure when or how, but it's just different. So it catches our eye, right? Mm -hmm. So then, that's not a problem because we're pulling those out. But then, I look at the head, and it's it's got the same stuff on it. I'm thinking it was lean at one time, and then we cleaned it up. It's probably what happened. So we can put it together with it, but if it doesn't get the same performance, it's because well, it's we use it. Put together this. like that. Yeah. I mean, you don't go and clean that up. Well, or cleaning it up, them? cleaning the outside really doesn't change anything. It would be we could do a valve job on it, or you can just buy a set of heads. I have heads here probably that are done ready to rock and roll for your motor, that are brand new money but we don't have to worry about it i could put these on because we are going to put springs in the head i believe so we are gonna take care of that and this guy but i can put it together it can run for fifty thousand miles no problem or i can put it together and be a little less compression because they got hot i don't know 
I just know it looks different from what we see. And I want you to be the judge. I probably have to roll for it. Because you also had... Did he show you the flywheel? I just heard about that a minute ago. He didn't show it to me. He was telling me about it. They, they didn't have it apart yet. Feel this. Just do a little bit like that. Feels good, right? Now feel it out oh, there. No. That's what he felt when we were pulling it apart. So hard. That bearing is real stiff there. Here, great tolerance. Mm. Not so much. So I just think it got hot at one time. If we change the heads, we're also giving you a bigger can. The cam yeah. pal's the same. We just go, not this part number, now this part number. We have these on the shelf ready to go. We just take those, use them as four, so we don't have to charge it with four charge. Mm -hmm. So it would take this from, what build were you originally doing? A 120. It was 492. The 492, so now you'd be doing like a 124 for 550. Well, was, he told me it was going to a 128. We're oh. changing that. Yeah, so now it'd be a 128 with 550. What's that going to be like? 145, 145. If that was yours, what would you do? Honestly. Can you have a grill too, Freddy? No. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that's, that's that talk, you know? Yeah. So, um, I never have someone ever come back and be like, hey man, it's too cool and too fast. <laughs> Here's the complaint I get. I wish I would have done the heads, or I wish I would have done this. Because, you know, at that time, it was a lot of money, but six months later, I have the money in the bank, and it's not that big a deal. Yeah. You know, it's it's hard. So, yeah. I wish I never done just the cam and exhaust. Just I went straight to it. Hell yeah. 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 So now you have that point again. Um, if I don't have them in stock, I'll rob them from someone else coming up because we have about twenty more sets inbound. Wow. This is Jamie, the guy who takes all my money. <laughs> <laughs> group of cams whole group of cams bunch of star stuff we do a lot of stuff with george comp cams grinds are 492 for us so the moonshine that's what you were getting so now it's the 550 cam you said yeah these are some uh prototypes we're doing that are our own and you would be getting 550 590 475 that's what we would go to now are you from out of town, Stan? Yeah, we're about uh, 400 miles out. just like yours. Brand new off a bike, just less miles on them. Yeah. Not pulled it or anything? Not pulled it. Just, I'd rather put those on less miles on your bike than put your heads back on your bike and have a little bit of an issue. Hey, is Dietlbach here? Dietlbach. Well, let me know if Dietlbach's here. If he's not here, Who? it's Dietlbach. How do you spell that? D-E-I-Bach. Dietlbach. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know who he is. Is it here? Is it here? I'll leave so. Okay. It's not new. Not so much new, but uh, this is the Torque Tech 10 spoke. They pick it up like it was gorgeous. Jamie works the phone like a madman that evening trying to get us some Frankenstein heads in by the weekend, but to no avail. So we come in the next morning to get the latest update on the heads. So does the valve job not give me new valves? No, you see me. We'll clean up, we'll clean up the back sides of the valves and then we'll relap them to make sure that they seal and we'll put new seals on the other side. So we'll make sure that the, valve, the seats are sealing the valves so that you don't have any leak down and then we'll replace the seals on the other side of the valve so you don't have any leak down. The only option we're dealing with is if you do that, you're $600 and for a brand new pair of our Frankenstein heads, you're $17.95. So you're a third of, one third of the way to the heads. 
Everything else we change in the motor is the same price because we're just going to swap the cam from the 492 to the 550. Same price on the cam. Yeah, if you want to go that route, then we'll eat the rest and then we'll deliver it to you. It never gets cheaper than it is right now. I promise you that. Say that again. It never gets cheaper than right now. Because <laughs> if you decide you want heads later, then we're back to yeah. taking it all apart, retuning it. Labor, yeah. retuning it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you do it right now, it's just the price of the heads. Everything else is already done. Well, that sounds like the way to go. How do you feel about that? Can we get out of the motel today? <laughs> who, who, who are you talking to? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, probably. Yeah. yeah, probably. All right, let's do that. So, okay. all right, so they'll deliver the bike? Yeah. We don't get to ride at home? You get to ride it at home. You can come back. We <laughs> get to ride it at home. <laughs> yeah, we can come back. <laughs> yeah, you can go. You can always. Enterprise is probably right down the street from wherever you're at, too. Yeah. Yeah. Right, sounds like it's decision been made. I do want to show you one thing. So this bracket, these these three bolts, they go in this back side of the transmission. Okay. So that one's broke off in there. Oh. This one is okay, and this one's stripped. The head or the, 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 the thread? The, the threads. Can you use an easy out and get that out? Well, it's going to be difficult because it's upside down. And then we're going to have to put a helicoil in this one anyway. So we're going to pull the transmission out and flip it upside down. You're going to do what? And drill them out, and then we're going to make sure. I, I might just put uh, time certs in all three of them. But you're gonna pull the transmission out. Yeah, it's the only way to really get to it. Because we wanna be precise when we're drilling that and, and putting in the time search, you know? We don't wanna be laying down upside down and have this all at a weird angle. <laughs> My bill's getting higher, isn't it? Well, we'll work it out, man. Cause, I, cause th that's unforeseen and it sucks. And good thing we got Marcus. He didn't get all that gray hair from being slow. <laughs> <laughs> that's not gray hair, that's chrome. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's got the, bar he's got the yeah, bracket. So all you need to do is not worry. We'll take care of it. We'll get it all right as rain, and then we'll uh, get it all cleaned up and deliver it to your doorstep. How about that? Sounds good, man. I don't want to. I don't want to half-ass nothing. No. Just be over time, a few dollars. Well, you know when you do, you just end up having problems and problems and problems and problems. Yeah. It's like sounds like you already have. I mean, this will basically be a new motor, right? Yeah. What won't be touched? The metal. The cases. The cases. Are, the cases. We the cases. Everything else is brand new. Bearings, firewall. It's all brand new. Everything will be new. Yeah. Oil pan. We're going to pull in, so we'll get new gaskets in the oil These pan. These will be the same. We use those. Rockers will be the same when there's no, no issues for using the rockers. All the internals are going to be replaced. With and what's nice is you get any power, you'll never find the end end. Because the bolder you get, the faster it goes. Yeah. And that's it. You can't. We have one. Which one? It's not in here now. When we were at the drag strip a couple weeks ago, we had one that's not going to have as much ass as yours. And they were doing 742. Yeah. Consistently on the on straight. Wow. I mean, that's fast. Yeah. That's super fast. And that's in a controlled environment. 742. Hey, Jordan. What's 742? What were you running on Robert's Not miles per hour. Oh, okay. Seconds. Yeah, 7335 is my best story. 7435. 7.435 seconds in a quarter mile. What would the stock always do? What would the stock bikes do? They didn't try it. 10. 10, 11. Oh yeah, when we do our drag events, it's for everybody. We just go out there to have fun. Nobody yeah. cares about how fast anybody goes. I mean, we almost came up here for that. It was it was cool. It was yeah. a fun weekend. If I wouldn't come up here this week, I would have been up here. Well, we're gonna do it uh, probably a couple times a year going right. forward. So. Okay. Cool. Because we have to ride out. We'll always have a whole weekend of it. Yeah. Cool. So we'll do you know like another Friday night thing where we'll hang out and just be able to BS and drink some beer and what have you, and then. Uh, the Saturday we'll do an event here and then Sunday.
Have you seen the Owens? Have you seen the Shocks? Well, I saw them on the bike upstairs. Yeah, these are them with the new with the heavyweight springs on them. We already treated those out. How do they, how do they connect to the bars? It sits like... Oh, I got you. Cool. I'll be waiting here for y'all. Okay, we'll take care of it. Appreciate it. Yeah, likewise. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Have fun filming. That's Thanks, his man. that's his job. I'm just a camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Where am I going? <laughs> so what's the plan? Check out a motel, rent a car, go home. Today? If we can. Like Couldn't get a rental car to make the drive home that day, so we decided to go up into Nashville and eat at Uncle Julio's. Really great fajitas and five dollar margaritas. Do y'all want to order some food, or do you need a few minutes? So we are going. We are going to order some food, but maybe not yeah, right now. My name's Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. Food will be ordered. So many choices. <laughs> it does, thank you. You'll enjoy it. Another beer? And a margarita. Okay. The next day we checked out of the motel, went to Nashville to get a rental car, and headed for the house. So we Ubered up to the airport so we could get a rental car. Apparently it's hard to get a rental car right now. They're all booked. And so we had to go like 30 miles away just to get a rental. Got that done. Now we're on a seven hour ride back to the house. We'll be waiting for the bike to show up in a couple of weeks. It sucks, but I don't, I don't, you know, it's nobody's fault. It's just the nature of tearing the engine down and, and not having all the parts you need on hand I could have put some subpar parts on it and paid a lot of money for it or stock parts and paid a lot of money but why not spend a little bit more money and get the good stuff so that's what we opted to do and wait a couple weeks no big deal they're going to deliver the bike to me free of charge it's awful nice of them and in fact the dealer who had my bike before they did had stripped a couple bolts, broke one off, and they're gonna pull the transmission out and fix that. They made it sound like they would just take care of it. Yeah, really good guys to work with, easy. Um, another week they probably would have had exactly what I needed sitting on the shelf, so we'll update it more later. I'm not really sure what this is about, but it's pretty cool, so I thought I'd video it. Old Glory blind in the yard. That's badass. <laughs>